Okay, hi everyone. So today let's uh, discuss this interesting problem. So it says a uniform rod of mass uh, 300 gram and length uh, 50 centimeter rotates at a uniform angular speed of 2 radian per second about an axis perpendicular to the rod uh, through an end. Calculate the angular momentum of the rod about the axis of rotation. Fine. So this way we have a rod, mass m, length l and uh, angular speed omega. Everything is given and it is rotating about uh, an axis perpendicular to the rod and passing through one of it uh, one of its ends right is there a say is axis ke about to rotate kar and let's say something like this then what is the angular momentum that is simply i into omega what is i about this axis uh, that is ml square by 3 right perpendicular to the rod and passing through one of its ends so you can calculate the value of i m ka value 0 0.3 into l ka value 0 0.5 it's a square divided by 3 yahan se moment of inertia a jayega moment of inertia ko hum omega se multiply kar denge omega is 2 radian per second right then you will get the value of angular momentum that is the magnitude of angular momentum direction ke liye hume omega ka direction chahiye if omega is clockwise then direction hoga cross ka direction means perpendicular to this page and going into the page and if omega is anti-clockwise then dot ka direction hoga right means perpendicular to the page and coming out of the page calculate the angular uh, uh, okay ye ho gaya. Uh, the speed of the center of the rod okay so how to find the uh, speed of center that is simply r into omega uh, means is axis ke about ye jo ro uh, rod hai ye pure rotation kar rahi hai right so kisi bhi point ka jo linear speed hai that is r r kya hai uh, perpendicular distance of that point for this it will be l by 2 center kitne distance pe hai? l by 2 so r ka value ho jayega l by 2 into omega so length uh, that is 50 so 0 0.5 divided by 2 into omega is 2 so 0 0.5 uh, meter per second right that is the speed of the center it's kinetic energy Deekho, kinetic energy nikalne ke hamare paas do tarik hai ek to ye jo axis hai is about pure rotation ho hai. so simply half of i into omega square right i ka value hummeh pata hai aur omega ka value bhi pata hai so this is the kinetic energy second aap kya dekh sakte ho ki is tarah se aap feel karo ye jo motion hai is tarah se feel karne ki koshish karo ki ye jo center hai ye move kar raha hai with 0.5 meter per second right and ye rod center ke about rotate kar rahi hai with omega that is, uh, that is 2 radian per second dekho omega rod ka property hai अगर मैं कहता हूं कि ये जो रॉड है एक एक्सिस के अबाउट जो कि एंड से पास हो रही है 2 रेडियन पर सेकंड से रोटेट कर रही है सो आप कोई भी एक्सिस ले लो राइट right? कोई भी एक्सिस अगर हम देखते हैं उस एक्सिस के अबाउट भी ओमेगा सेम होगा बिकॉज़ ओमेगा इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द रॉड नॉट एनी एक्सिस राइट सो सेंटर ऑफ मास के अबाउट अगर हम एक्सिस की बात करें सो so उस एक्सिस uh, के अबाउट भी जो ओमेगा होगा रॉड का दैट विल बी 2 रेडियन पर सेकंड नाउ total kinetic energy that is translational kinetic energy plus rotational kinetic energy translational kinetic energy will be half of m into velocity of center of mass square plus rotational kinetic energy half of i of the center of mass i about center of mass right uh, into omega square so uh, let me put the values uh, half mass ka value 0 0.3 into velocity of center of mass that is 0 0.5 square plus half i i about center of mass right that is half of uh, sorry ml square by 12 right ml square by 12 mass is 0 0.3 uh, let me put here m into l square by 12 into omega will be same 2 square you can calculate this value and this value ko match karke dekhna with half of i into omega square yahan pe i kya hai end ke about jo moment of inertia tha right jo humne already calculate kiya hai this one so check करके देखना दोनों चीजें सेम आएगा। I think you have understood. Let me know if you still have any confusion. We can discuss further. Okay, guys, keep working hard. Best of luck. Bye.